And so to the downstairs gallery. This downstairs area is one that I really helped dr draw me to the gallery in the first place. It's just so atmospheric. Apparently when the building used to be a plumber's merchant, all their stock was kept down here. And we've still got a lot of the racking here. This is a bit of a junk room. Um, packaging, paintings going in and out. But I'm afraid I can't, couldn't help putting a few easels of work up here. Mainly mine. Poppies. Bluebell wood with silver birches. Umbelifera. Penny Ghent. A very old view of poppies. And a more recent one with wheat. Santorini Church. Very bright Acer from Harlow Car. An experimental piece, a winter scene based on metallographic um, structures as seen in the microscope. On the far side, a view of the Haystack Stone on Ilkley Moor. Closer to um, Hurst Woods again in autumn. Right, from the chaos, we'll go to the slightly more ordered. But I did love this space. What I've tried to do is keep the feeling of it. You know, the old battered doors. Um, I hang the paintings on, on copper pipes to match them with the ones that the heating pipes are already down here. And this room is mainly my 2D work and a selection of 3D. So we've got the little pack horse bridge over Beckfoot on Beckfoot Lane. A large horizontal silver birch. Old Main Street Bingley. Unusual for me. Lake District view of uh, Windermere from Bowness. A last remaining cat from the Saltair cat calendar. This is the old loading bay. I think this must have been a, a warehouse at some time. So an ammonite and a wheel. Both objects in Cliff Castle Museum. Little detail there. Um, Aspens from Harlow Car. This is a fantastic piece by Clark Avery. Battle in the North Sea. But just know who has the, the space for this. One day. A little series of mountain scenes. So top right is um, Macedonia. Top left, southern Spain. Bottom left is a swirl how from great cars. And bottom right, the Langdale Pikes. I love the depth on this one. I don't often say complimentary things about my own work, but I do like this one. I think back, the, the tall pines a Tarn House, a Bluebell Woods, and one based on a, a local park, Northcliffe, in Mist. A 
lakeside birches. All these are by me. They're all loyal on canvas, deep canvas. Silver birches. I call this one Elm Memory. It's based on a tr tree that used to be in my school playground. Another one that's very much fixed in my memory, but um, I revisited it and, and saw it again. It's this oak tree from Kenilworth in Warwickshire. Autumn Symphony 9. They're all Autumn Symphonies are very different, but they have a similar name. I'm not very inventive. A Harlow car view. The, um, it's not coloured leaves on the tree, it's a, a crimson glory vine that goes over an oak in a rather spectacular way. Autumn Song. Silver birches. A Harlow car scene through the apple hedge, the kitchen garden there. With sticky buds and tears of candles, horse chestnut in flower. And an upper Wharfdale winter sycamore. On the right, a woodland meadow with uh, umbellifera. And on the left, lakeside birches too. And an early one of mine, bluebell woods. Let's get in a bit of 3D work while we're here. One of Richard Davis's um, spinal works. Again, all made with delaminated plates from electric motors. This cabinet on the right hand is one of Richard's uh, lamps, a globe on uh, ancient timber, a Kath Bonson piece, I think that's Moor side, the Moors, sorry. Walls on the right, again, Kath Bonson. Some of my little pieces, the first three, and finally a Clark Avery. Some of Liz Brooks fused glass. Carol Sterrell, Sterrett's Pheasant, it's one of my works before. And the only piece we have from Kai, uh, Kawa Saeed, an owl. A spectacular piece. Oh, a couple more mountains. Right, mule track in the Sierra Almejera, southern Spain. Grindelwald Glacier. Closer to home. I said I'd never paint this, but here it is. And the cow and calf, but from a slightly unusual angle. Still on our Ilkley Moor area. This is the Badger Stone. One of the less visited but more spectacular. Bronze Age monuments. Actually, as an archaeologist, I know that the swastika type designs are supposed to be uh, Iron Age, but the cup and rings are Bronze Age. Landshaw Lad, the last remaining one, I think, from a, a series I did of um, the, the Dales, uh, a Dales Highway.
had Chris Grogan, Chris and Tony Grogan walk. And finally, Willie Hall's Wood, which is um, again on Ilkley Moor, just above White Wells. While we're here, let's have a look. A couple of Carol Sterrett's uh, wire, wire works, sheep and lamb. Um, more of Amy Charlesworth cards. A Mick Kirby Geddes head. Rather nicely constructed of all sorts of old tools welded steel and behind it is one of his garden pieces these are all galvanised so they don't corrode a bird on a fork and some of my poppies on a black background behind okay